My name is Paul McCormick from the Department of Neurological Surgery at Columbia University. This video will demonstrate the technique of removal of a cauda equina schwannoma with preservation of the motor root. The patient is a 32-year-old man with a two-month history of progressive back and right leg pain. Contrast-enhanced MR shows a large, uniformly enhancing mass at the L1, L2 level. The patient is placed in a prone position on a Wilson frame. The spine is exposed through a midline incision and subperiosteal muscle dissection. A bilateral L1, L2 laminectomy is performed with preservation of the facet joints. The dura is opened in the midline with preservation of the arachnoid to avoid excessive CSF drainage or dorsal displacement of the cauda equina nerve roots through the dural incision. The dura is sutured laterally to the paraspinal muscles to maximize intradural exposure and reduce epidural bleeding. Initial intradural exposure shows the tumor to be covered by some of the cauda equina nerve roots. The arachnoid is sharply incised and dissected to mobilize these roots to gain exposure to the tumor. The inferior margin of the tumor can now be clearly seen. The dorsal and rostral tumor margins are now exposed. The afferent limb of the nerve of origin of the tumor can be clearly seen. It is usually characterized by venous engorgement and swelling. The afferent limb of the tumor nerve of origin, in this case the right L4 dorsal root, is carefully dissected and mobilized. It is important to recognize that each segmental dorsal and ventral root share a common arachnoid sheath as shown in this cross-section of an intradural nerve root. Further dissection now reveals the right L4 ventral root tightly applied to the tumor capsule. In this case, the right L4 dorsal root is the nerve root of origin of the tumor and the right L4 ventral root is referred to as the corresponding nerve root. As shown in this schematic, the tumor nerve root of origin is typically non-functional and completely incorporated into the tumor. It is usually not possible, nor necessary, to preserve the nerve of origin for intradural schwannomas. Conversely, the corresponding nerve root is displaced and tightly applied to the tumor capsule by the common arachnoid sheath. The corresponding nerve root is anatomically intact and clinically functional and can be preserved if carefully dissected off the tumor capsule. Sacrifice of the functional corresponding nerve root may result in neurological deficit. A nerve stimulator is used to obtain control recordings. Nerve stimulation also confirms the non-functional nature of the tumor root of origin. The exposed cauda equina nerve roots are carefully protected and the tumor capsule is cauterized in a safe and accessible area. The tough tumor capsule is sharply incised to allow for internal decompression.
the tumor nerve root of origin is dissected further and mobilized off the tumor capsule. Internal decompression allows greater mobilization of the tumor into the narrow dissection field. Irrigating cautery progressively shrinks and devascularizes the tumor. It is important to periodically assess the location and course of the functional corresponding nerve root on the tumor capsule. A beaver blade is used to sharply incise the common arachnoid sheath to allow the mobilization and dissection of the corresponding nerve root. Further internal decompression with an ultrasonic aspirator allows greater mobilization of the tumor into the surgical field. Periodic excision of a portion of the tumor capsule allows for more secure internal decompression. The location and course of the corresponding nerve root is further identified. The generous internal decompression now allows the tumor to be safely mobilized to allow circumferential inspection of the tumor capsule throughout its entire extent. The non-functional afferent limb of the tumor nerve of origin is now cauterized and divided. This allows for additional devascularization and tumor shrinkage. Greater mobilization also allows for additional internal decompression. Internal bleeding is easily managed with flow seal and gentle pressure. Once there is adequate visualization of the entire course of the corresponding nerve root, mobilization of this root off the tumor capsule has begun. Here I'm working at the proximal afferent component of the nerve. I'm now at the distal efferent aspect of the corresponding nerve root. 
The dissection can be challenging due to fibrous adhesions, fragile arachnoid, and shared vascularity between the nerve root and the tumor capsule. But a combination of careful blunt and sharp microdissection with gentle traction and counter-traction facilitates the development of this dissection plane. The corresponding nerve root is now nearly completely freed from the tumor capsule. Tumor resection is now complete. The afferent end of the divided nerve of origin is pointed out by the microdissector. The edematous redundant portion of the intact corresponding root is clearly seen. The anatomically and functionally intact corresponding right L4 motor nerve root is now mobilized. The distal efferent stub of the divided tumor nerve of origin is also seen. Stimulation of the corresponding nerve root produced robust responses in the right vastus lateralis and other L4 innervated muscles. Early postoperative contrast enhanced lumbar MR shows a clean resection bed without evidence of residual tumor. The MR will be repeated one year postoperatively.